they pay pretty much 35%. Exxon last year is an important American company, but most of their jobs are not necessarily in America. They pay a total of 17. So clearly there's a lot of opportunity, in effect, to lower that rate and then have a de facto alternative minimum tax to do it. And I would like to see a deal made which would say to Bill and everybody else, if you got any cash overseas you want to bring home, you can bring home every penny of it earned up to December 31st, 2012, the end of this year, with no extra tax liability if you're clean there, if you will put, pick a number, 8% of it, 5% of it, in an infrastructure bank where we will guarantee you a tax-free return on investment as if it were a municipal bond of 6% a year. Now, that would give us probably $50 billion. If you did that, then all these pension funds would rush to put money in because they need guaranteed ROIs so they can make their payment schedule for the next few years. Then we could bring, for example, something that would help your business. We could bring universal modern broadband to every American. We like that. You want to help you want to help small businesses? You want to help new entrepreneurs? You want to make it possible for people living in remote towns in upstate New York or West Texas to be part of the global economy? Then stop pretending we can do it with South Korea having average download speeds of four times ours. They're first in the world, we're now 15th or 16th. That's not that expensive. Use it to modernize the electrical grid. Texas, on a good day, will get 25 cents of electricity from wind. But there's enough wind blowing from the Canadian border with North Dakota to the West Texas border with Mexico to electrify America, the Jerry Towns over. I'll never forget when I was campaigning for Hillary in 2008, I was down in Del Rio at Eagle Pass the night before the election, standing on the back of a pickup truck, and I nearly got blown off the wind. I said, how fast the wind blowing? They said, 45 miles an hour. I said, how often does it blow this fast? I said, every night. <laughs> I said, Texas is the number one state in the country with windmills. I always get George W. Bush, who's become a friend of mine. I said, you know, back in your proto-socialist phase, it's gone through Texas. <laughs> You gave tax exemption and uh, tax credits for people who put up these windmills and turned out to be a heck of a deal for you. But there weren't any there. And I asked why, and they said, because we have power lines here, but all the towns are small, and they don't have the capacity to wheel the power back to where the people are. So if we modernize the electrical grids, we could create a lot of jobs. Um, the largest number of jobs we could create for small businesses would be in retrofitting every physical structure in America that hasn't gone through an energy retrofit and that unlike Dell doesn't have the cash reserves to finance it now and say it's okay if it doesn't pay out for six years or seven years. We're in this for the long run and seven years from now when our power goes up 30% because we're hyper-efficient, it's going to be great. 